Hello, we are Current Energy, your solar thermal specialists. In this video, we will be assembling the solar tank. We will now continue our SPS installation with a 200 liter dual coil water tank. Firstly, you will need to remove the tank from its packaging. When handling the tank, mind you do not move it by its fittings as you may damage the tank. In addition to the water tank, the packaging will also consist of a check valve, magnesium rod, tank plugs, and feet for the tank. And in the case of the 200 liter water tank, there will be three feet. With the tank removed from the packaging, gently lay it on its side or top end. Mind you do not have the tank resting on its fittings. With the tank in place, you can begin to thread the base plug into the bottom of the tank and attach the feet. Make sure to seal your joints according to local plumbing codes and bylaws. With the tank now upright, it is time to install the magnesium rod, also known as a sacrificial rod. The rod is necessary to prevent corrosion of the inner coils and the tank. Every tank is manufactured to fit an electrical element, and the controller for this element can be seen at the tank's middle. This is the interior thermocouple and will now be inserted into the tank. The exterior and interior thermocouple are not interchangeable, so ensure you are installing the correct one. To install the thermocouple, remove the plastic insert and unthread it into its two halves. When you have done this, thread the thermocouple through the plastic hoop. With the thermocouple through the hoop, reassemble the plastic insert. Now that the thermocouple is secure, place the plastic insert into the tank. If you have not already done so, you should now proceed to wire the thermocouple to the junction box. Here you can see a relief valve. This will release the water from the tank if either water pressure or water temperature become too great. The next and last valve to be installed is the check valve. The check valve only allows water to flow in one direction and needs to be installed on the hot water supply of the copper coil heat exchanger inside the tank. 